Okay, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be talking about widths, heights, margin, padding, and borders. So we're gonna cover quite a bit in this video, but we're gonna go through it pretty quickly and it's a pretty simple concept. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to go back to my block.html and I think at the bottom of the page, I'm just gonna create a box. And I'm going to give it an ID of box. So let's add some styles to this box. Let's maybe make it a red box with a width and height. So jumping back over to my style.css, I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom and to reference a specific ID, we will use the hash or the number symbol. And then we specify the ID, which in this case was box. So we are going to give the box these styles. So we're gonna say that we want it to have a width of we'll say 200 pixels and a height of 200 pixels. So adding the width and height is just as simple as putting in width and then how wide you want it to be, the height and then how tall you want it to be. So let's say the width and height of 200 pixels and we also want a background, otherwise we won't be able to see that on the screen. So we'll say background and let's go ahead and give this a red hex color. So let's save that, let's go back here and reload and we can see that we have our box right here. So that's great, uh, we can use width and height to specify the width and height of a box. And let's go ahead and add a box inside of this box. So I'm going to say div ID equals, and we'll call this box two. So let me go ahead and add a box two, and I'm going to give it a width of, we'll say 100% and a height of 100%. And I'm going to give this a background of, we'll say blue. Now, since this box two is inside of this box, it is actually going to cover it all up because it's going to set the width of 100% and height of 100%. So it's just going to cover the full width. So if we were to reload the page, it looks like that our red box went away, but really the red box is behind the blue box. So what we could do actually is, I think that's a perfect way to introduce you to margin and padding. So first let's talk about padding. Let's say that we wanted to add some padding around this first box. I'm going to say padding of 10 pixels. So I want to add 10 pixels of padding to our red box. If we go back here and reload, we're gonna see that we have that padding. Let's change that to 100. And now you can see that we have this padding. So we have the red box behind. Oh, well, actually we have the blue box that's inside of the red box. And you can see that we have this padding around. So there's another thing that we can use besides padding because padding is the space inside of the box and we can use margin to specify spacing outside of the box. So let's say that we want a margin of 10 pixels. If we were to reload that, you can see that now it moves over 10 pixels. We have a spacing around the box of 10. What instead if we were to add a margin around our box two? So let's say that we add a margin, let's say another 100 pixels we reload, you're gonna see that actually this moves over because we have a padding of 100 pixels and margin of 100 pixels. And the reason why the blue box is all the way down to the bottom because we actually have a fixed width and height for our red box. But I think that's a good demonstration of showing you padding and margin. So let's go ahead and reload this. And I want to also show you that you can specify specific parts. If you want, don't want it to be the top, right, bottom, and left, you could say that you only want the padding right to be 100 pixels. So if we were to save that and reload, we only have a right padding of 100 pixels. We could then say top of 100 pixels. We could say bottom. And of course, we could say padding left. So we could specify all those. We could also specify each one individually in one line. So we could say padding, and we start off at the top of 10 pixels. Then maybe on the right, let's add 30 pixels. Then on the bottom, we'll add 50, and then let's do 100 on the left. So this is going to go top, right, bottom, left. So if we save that and reload, you're gonna see that top, we have 10 pixels. Right, we have 30 pixels. Bottom, we have 50. And then we have a padding left of 100 pixels. So another way, if you were to have the same padding on the top and bottom, and the same as on the left and right, or the X and Y, you can specify that with two lines. So we could say padding of 10 pixels, that would be on the X axis, so this would be left and right, and then top and bottom, 
maybe we want 50 pixels. So we could make that shorthand and reload and we have 10 pixels on the top and bottom and 50 on the left and right. And we could also do the same thing with margin if we wanted. We could say margin of 10, that starts at the top, then we would go to the right, we could say 50 pixels, then on the bottom we could say 20 pixels, and then on the left we could say 100 pixels. And if we reload that, all that's going to be displayed. And you're not really gonna see the margin on the right or the bottom because we don't have elements around these boxes. So that is the basics of padding and margin. They're pretty simple. It's just spacing inside of an element or outside of an element. So now that we have that covered, how about we cover the one last thing, which is borders. So I am going to remove our second box right here. I think it'll just make it easier to explain if we just have one simple box. So going back to our box of width of 200 pixels and height of 200 pixels, let's go ahead and remove everything except the width and height. And I'm going to say that I want a border one pixel and I want this to be a solid border. And I'm going to give it kind of a gray color. Let's reload that. And you can see that we have a really small border around our box. So we can specify that we want this to be border of one pixels. We can specify 10 pixels if we wanted to. So you can see now that we have 10 pixels around our box. So we could specify it all like this if we wanted to. We could say that we want the border width to be 10 pixels and the border style to be solid and the color to be this color right here, or we could specify them individually. So I could also say border dash width and I could say 20 pixels. So maybe I want that to be 20 instead of 10. And now you can see that reflected. We could also then say border style and the border style can be, we can say solid, we can say dotted. Let's take a look at that. You can see dotted, and we can also do dashed. We reload and we get a dashed border. So then the one last thing that we could do is we could specify the border color specifically. Let's go ahead and make that red. So if we save that and reload, now you can see that we have a red dashed border that has a width of 20 pixels. So you can choose to do this individually with each width, style, and color, or you can do that all in one line if you would wish. So that is the basics of borders. So feel free to play around with widths, heights, margin, padding, and border. Uh, they're pretty simple, and once you start getting used to it, uh, it's easy to stylize different elements, add backgrounds, add spacing in between the elements, and make your layouts look a lot nicer. So that is it for this video, and I will see you in the next.